Police have arrested a Waverly man after an overnight stabbing. That caused another man to suffer severe injuries. Police and other emergency responders rushed to the Red Fox Inn on Heritage Way in Waverly about midnight after getting a report of a fight in progress. Police say an argument started at the hotel's happy hour bar, but it carried into the halls of the hotel and ended with 43-year-old Woodrow Hall stabbing another man multiple times. Waverly police arrested Hall shortly after the stabbing. He's in the Bremer County Jail on charges of willful injury. The victim is reportedly in critical condition in the intensive care unit at Allen Hospital in Waterloo. Now, there was a call for an air ambulance after that fight, but getting one to Waverly last night proved to be difficult. TV 9's Brady Smith has more about that. And Brady, apparently the helicopter couldn't take off because of poor visibility. Well, that's right. We confirmed with, with uh, Waverly police that there was a call for an air care helicopter. And despite there not being any snow in Waverly at the time, apparently it was heavy enough down in Waterloo to make for some hazardous flying conditions. Now, uh, we spoke with a helicopter pilot today here in Cedar Rapids to ask him about the challenges this winter has provided for him and his team. Eastern Iowans have seen plenty of pileups and crashes caused by wintry weather in the past couple months. It's during those times when pilots like Randy Clue need to decide if it's safe to respond. Just have to be on top of the weather forecast and watching the radar. He keeps a close eye on a weather service designed specifically for pilots. When a call comes in, he and his crew, made up of a flight nurse and a flight medic, have a discussion about flying conditions. It's not the snow itself, it's just the with the snow comes decreased visibility and uh, lower cloud ceilings. Lifeguard had 318 flights out of St. Luke's last year and more than 60 so far this year. Clue says a number of his flights were grounded this winter. There have been quite a few uh, snowstorms where we'd have to take the aircraft to the hangar or not be able to take a flight due to reduced visibility. In those cases, sometimes other helicopter services with clear flight paths are sent or ambulances will be dispatched for ground response. Either way, Clue says the overriding goal is to get medical help to people who need it as quickly and safely as possible. A challenge, especially in a state where the weather can turn on a dime. One of the first things I was told when I first came here to Iowa is if the weather, uh, if you don't like the weather, to wait a minute. Now, we also asked Clue about extreme cold and what impact that has on his helicopter. He says there's been only a couple of days when it's been too cold to actually take off. Live in the Cedar Rapids newsroom, Brady Smith, KCRG TV9 News.